The bowline is a knot that is used to create a loop around an object such as a tree. On the east coast, some places, Labrador for instance, they'll call this a bolt and eye. So a bolt going through an eye, the eye being the loop, the bolt being the tree. They rush that into bold and eye. In uh, Ontario, we call it bowline, probably a uh, form of bow line, bow being a part of a boat. And uh, often instead of bowline, you'll just hear it rushed as bowline. So this knot is called a bowline or a bowline. Once again, the application is to tie a loop around a tree or a specific object. In our case, the application for this knot is this is the knot we will use to tie the lead of our trap net to a tree on shore when possible. I will show you another version to use when this is not uh, practical. Two advantages to this knot. Number one, this loop will not slip, so it will not change size. It will not bind up on the object. That loop will always stay the same size. The other advantage, if you turn this knot upside down, you'll see a crossing piece over the standing part of the rope, and that can always be used to create slack and untie this rope. So the three steps for tying this knot, I'm gonna have the working end of my right hand standing part of the rope on my left, pass that a half turn around a tree, and then pass it over the standing part of the rope and wrap it around once. So that's step one. I'll go through that again. The working end does a half turn around a tree, crosses over the standing part of the rope and wraps. That's step one. Then we're gonna secure that with our left hand. Step two, I'm going to take my right hand on the standing part of the rope and I'm going to push forward and make a closed loop. I'm just pushing this up so you can see it's a closed loop. So, right hand on the standing part of the rope, push it down and forward and create a closed loop. That's step two. Step three then is to take this working end of the rope, pass it under the standing part of the rope and through the loop you've just created. Keep that working end up with the loop, pull in the standing part, and tighten. To see that you've created this knot correctly, on the upper side you will have two parallel lines. One is part of the loop that is around the tree. You'll see it comes through and uh, through this binding comes under the standing part of the rope, comes back under the binding, and that's the parallel part that you'll see. So essentially you've got a bite in here going around the standing part of the rope. If you turn it upside down, look at the other side, you'll always see this binding crossing apart, crossing the standing part of the rope. So that is your bowline. So the three steps, follow them again. The working end does a half turn around a tree over the standing part of the rope and wrap. That's step one. Step two, take your right hand, go under and up, create that loop. That's step two. Step three, take this working end, crosses under the standing part of the rope, down through that loop, and make sure the working end is up here, held up here with the rest of the loop. Tighten by pulling those two pieces against the standing part and there is your bowline. One more time. Working end around the tree over the standing part of the rope and wrap. Step one. Step two, with the right hand we create this loop. Step three, take the working end of the rope under the standing part of the rope up and then down through this loop and then pull everything tight. That is your bowline. Once again, look for those two parallel lines 